Hello there and welcome to White Dragon Rescue. I'm Vicky and this is my husband Phil. Hello. And today we're going to be doing waters. Um, Jonathan, our green iguana, and Maureen, our frilled dragon. Yeah, we're doing baby as well. Oh, sorry. That's right. I'm going to do a shower first. And what you're going to do. I'm mm, quite liking that today. It's just noticed I'm filming him. Mm -hmm. well, sometimes he sits there nicely like that, other times he just runs away from it. He's clearly liking that today. <laughs> so this is Jonathan, our green iguana. He's a rescue that came from our friend's reptile rescue. We've had him two years. <laughs> a good old scratch. I stopped too soon, did I? He's not perfectly tame yet, but he's well on the way. Yeah, he's not bad now, is he? No. Get him out when there's not too many people around at the moment. It won't be long. Sounds like it's raining in how the drips. Phil built his bib himself. It's massive, as you can see. It's floor to ceiling. All the way up. Oh, he's got a pet snail up in the corner. He's got mud on the bottom and food falls down there and there's various insects down there. So his most of his poo, we do pick out some of it if it's a big bit, but most of it is its own little ecosystem that means it's self cleaning almost. Mind you, it looks like he's dropped loads of food, but <laughs> Iggy's a vegetarian, so they eat loads of veg, so that is really nothing. They don't like to lose a lot. They're all so messy, aren't they, when it comes to eating? He just gets excited. Unlike snakes, they shed in bits. Oh, Get your nostril off. There we go. <laughs> well, that must have annoyed him. Been bugging him. Is it? Right. Right. That then. Go on to Maureen. So this is Maureen, another rescue from our friend's rescue shop. She's an Indonesian frail dragon. We've had her year, six months, a year now. It's got to be a year, if not a little bit longer. She does like to have a drink like that. I've never ever seen her drinking out of a water bowl. Even though we always keep it full of clean water. She's 
not really interested in drinking but anyway. But... She's not moving away from it though. No, she's liking it. I think that's it for her. And he's done his water, her water bowl. Mm -hmm. Let me fill that one up. Onto the royal above it. And I'll fill that water bowl up. Mr. Shady, another rescue named by our daughter. Are you coming out? Dragon's waiting for her more. Little Joyce is a pet. We've yeah. had her seven years, seven, eight seven, years. Eight, yeah. I think she's in shed at the moment. Let's see if... Yeah, she is in shed. So, so yeah, she was... You can see the bluish tinge to her and the cloudiness if it focus. We really don't want to for some reason, oh, not enough light. Matter, matter. Sorry, oh, the, <laughs> the sensor, she moved the sensor off of her heat map. Moving that back on. Here's a dragon. Who's waiting in a water bowl. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm crying out loud. With a poo. Why haven't you put any water in there? It needs cleaning out, babes. <laughs> yeah, clean that out first. I hope there's no rules against poo on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, that's what I mean. Lovely. Quite disgusting. I'll tell you what then. Oh, I'll film some. I'll film a tortoise having a yawn. Tortoise having a yawn, and I'm going to pop her down there and chuck some bugs on the floor. This is a horse-filled tortoise. Is it? Is it not? It's a Herman. Herman, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's a Herman's, and it's another rescue. This one's been with us about a couple of weeks now. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's um, in solitary at the moment because he was biting the legs of Cliff, the other tortoise. He's looking at me now like if I could be bothered to move, you'd get it. He's having a bit of a punishment. Can you come back out again? <whistles> Perspective. 
Well, don't look at me. <laughs> Concentrate on your dinner. You yeah, probably. But not enough to put her off of a nice fat worm. Well, if you get your feet in there. Right, there's that one then. This is the going back in. So this is Maxie, our bearded dragon. We've had her nine years. She was yeah, one of the do. first. Our first lizard. Right, I'll clean those two tail pieces up in a minute. What's <laughs> the problem? She sure, looks like a little Pokemon or something. Yeah, not go back in, huh? No. Okay. Be easy, right? Come on, then. Oh, yeah. Listen, now she's got a clean water bowl. She's got a nice big water bowl so she can fit in it, as she proved by when we found her lead out in it. I'll spray this one down now. Is that That's the Indian garden lizard. I can't remember the scientific name for him. Oh, you need to see his tail at the back. This one came from India. It was in a shipping container. The boat that came from India, and it was tiny. It's doing well now. He's eating. Eating, growing, shedding, and doing everything. Pooing, doing everything it should be doing. Can I try and get in there a bit more? I can, but it's very quick. So I mean, just be prepared to move if you have to. So that's his tail. That's his tail. <laughs> That's the end That's of this tail. <laughs> and his foot is just there. Oh yeah. Oh well, he has grown. Well, we've only had him two months. Not even that month. He's doing fantastic. Right. Um, Take a little some water. Water the wonderful. He is, great, he? he is a stunner. Water the crested geckos. I can't see him. In the, he's in his tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't get a face shot, he's hiding. There he is. <laughs> but real plants in it and a few fake ones. Trying yeah. to make it as realistic as possible and his own little ecosystem. Trying out some new moss on the bottom. It's already got grass seed in it, apparently. It will grow little tufts of grass through it as well. So I think it look quite cool at the bottom. Mm. You can see. And last but not least. Turtle from the pond that seemed to be a bit cold, so we've brought him in to warm yeah, him up a bit. He wasn't doing very well. So so. We brought him in, and actually, today he's eating quite well. Uh, he's moving about. A little red haired slider. But he is doing. So he looks better now than he was. Such a little grumpy face. <laughs> yeah, but I can't help it. It's my <laughs> face. Right, let me spray that one down then. And we're done. I'm spraying down for the night. 
Where's this crusty then? <laughs> mainly behind one of those. Sorry, mate, I'm not disturbing you. Well hidden. And this one is full of bugs as well. Loads of spring tiles in the bottom. In fact, I take some out of this one to put in the other tank sometimes. Is that a big plant at the back a real one? Yeah, all real plants in that one. It's gone mad. Yeah. Um, one day, I'll find out what plant it is. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. I have to use that app thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. And we will have to do that. the frogs. Oh, that's a dechlorinated water in that one. Alright Jonathan baby. Right there. Mm, sorry. Mm. And a bit and again this is these have got loads of spring tails in the bottom. They get mealworms and so the springtails eat what leftovers and just keep yeah and the springtails they they stop they eat mold and stuff as well. Hello, so you they weird stop thing. Anything like that accumulating? You're not weird. It is. They're brilliant little creatures. I try not to spray here as well. Don't mind. They are cool. Oop. You don't like you. Is that a... That's a frog way of telling you to go away. Now it's you he doesn't like spraying. <laughs> oh, he's like, I'm hiding. Is that him squeaking or is he squeaking, squeaking on the plastic? No, that's him squeaking. Wicked. Oh. Them back over. All right, mate, it's not going on. <laughs> and people think all frogs go ribbit. So that's it for um, the waters. It covered lots of different animals tonight. Hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll have another one soon, hopefully. Yeah. Take care now. Bye bye.